Hey guys, this show's getting awesome at this point. What? We're up to 10 episodes and this show is still strong as usual. But let's talk about these episodes real quick. In episode 8, Tsukasa tells everyone that she might know who the Lupin Rangers are, and Good Striker tells the Lupin Rangers that their identity might be revealed. The Pat Rangers are setting up a trap and the Lupin Rangers are already ahead of them, and they trick them thanks to Good Striker's special power on the Versus Changer and Kogurei's disguise skill. We'll get to that later. In episode 9, the Lupin Rangers have to get a Lupin collection from a person named Emma Gordini, a rich lady who wears a necklace and turns out that it's a Lupin collection, and it's also a Versus vehicle. Destro wants that Lupin collection so he can study it, and the Lupin Rangers fight the Gangler and the Pat Rangers while Kyrie tries to protect her from Destra. After a cool fight scene with Kyrie and Destra, we see the Lupin Rangers try to get the Lupin collection from the Gangler, but Keitro shoots at the Gangler too early and he blows up along with the Lupin collection, or so he thought. In episode 10, we figure out that the Gangler didn't die and used his collection piece to clone himself. After finding the Gangler, the Lupin Rangers and Pat Rangers fight him while Kairi fights Zamigo. After retrieving the Lupin collection and the Gangler turning big, the Lupin Rangers fight him using Lupin Kaiser with the Scissors Blade Dial Fighter as a sword and shield, and finishes off the Gangler with a cool attack. During the ending, the Lupin Rangers decide not to tell Kogure about Zamigo since they are wary on trusting him. I don't mean to beat the same dead horse, but the story was really good. The action was flawless, the drama was nice, the characters were good, and the mystery keeps on being interesting. Like with Kogure being able to put on disguises, that alone changes everything about him. Is he working on both sides, or is he an unknown gangler that the heroes and the villains never heard of? Only time will tell later on. It's also interesting that the Scissors Blade Dial Fighter is part of the Lupin Collection. It kind of reminds me of the Horcruxes in Harry Potter. There are some that count as the real thing, and there may be ones that are pseudo part of the collection. With this interesting detail, it confirms my theory and everyone else's theory on the Versus vehicles being Lupin Collections. They may throw a curveball in there to change it up, but it's still nice to know that piece of information. The cast did great in these episodes. Emma Gorgini is the best side character. Her backstory was good and it's similar to Kyrie's backstory. They both have an older sibling that have better activities. They try to be like them. They're embarrassed about it, and it's really relatable. I get the feeling that she may be important later on in the show. I hope so, because I liked her. Goshe really shines with her abilities. Those binoculars that she has in her safe isn't there for show. With it, she can see past walls, see heat signatures, and she says that she can see everything inside of people. <laughs> That's really neat and could be a problem to the Lupin Rangers and the Bat Rangers. I can't wait to see more of her and especially Zamigo. He was just awesome and cool. No pun intended. <laughs> nice joke. The new mecha we get is the Scissors Blade Dial Fighter that I mentioned before, and it's really cool. Instead of summoning an attack when being inserted into the Versus Changer, it gives any Lupin Ranger a boomerang and a shield. That's the first time a Versus vehicle gives someone a weapon instead of a finishing attack. With that said, I like the attacks Lupin Red does with it. As an arm and a sword slash shield, it looks good. I like the final attack with Lupin Kaiser shooting up in the sky and slashing the Gangler. That was nice, and I can't wait to see what this versus vehicle can do. Overall, these episodes were good and the fact that this show is still pulling off strong in 10 episodes really surprises me. I can't wait to see more mystery, more versus vehicles, and more on our characters. We've somehow got full backstory on the Lupin Rangers, and I want to see more on the Pat Rangers like Sakia and Tsukasa. They're good characters, but we need a bit more of their backstory and everything else will be good. Anyway, great episodes and there will be more collections to this piece. Let's take some advanced notes and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will catch you later.